right now we're inside the Carlisle Hotel. So yeah, welcome to Miami Beach. So we're going to the beach now, and uh, we'll see our first time. Nice sunny day. We're on our way to the beach. We're here in Miami Beach. Really is. You can feel the humidity. It's really comforting on the skin. Oh, I feel like I'm hydrating all over. Palm Springs is so dry, skin gets dry, but here, you know, you feel like you're getting moist, you know? Nice. I love that building over there. Oh my God. I love this architecture. Yeah. Carlton Hotel. So what's the fabric of old Miami Beach, built 1937. It was supposed to be four stories, but actually turned out to be three stories. 66 rooms, uh, or is it 36 rooms? But anyway, was, the cost was like about $200,000 for a hotel back in the day. Wow. What can you get for $200,000 now? <laughs> but look at this design. Is that nice? Yes. Places around. Just like I think feel like in This is beautiful. Oh my god. The Betsy Ross. Look at this. This is like old. I love the architecture. And not too much traffic here at all. Royal Palm. Ready? The Betsy at South Beach. Right now we are at the Sweetnesses. Miami Beach and my god man for the first time this looks like a Hollywood set where they film a lot of these you TV know series 1930 films and things like that so it really kind of like takes you back into the past really a lot of art deco which is one of my favorite designs yes uh, it just has a very clean and uh, what do you call it crisp you know, fresh feeling here. Right. And yeah. it really does look like something out of a Hollywood, you know, movie set. And they would shoot like TV series. I remember this um, area here from Dexter, the TV series. And yes. Burn Notice as well. So, yeah. So now I'm here and we're here. Yes. So finally we get to see it in person. Yeah, but Dexter's yeah. not one of those relaxing, exactly. Type of and movie. beautiful Memories. views. Yeah. That. And. Wow. Uh, it's really beautiful. I mean, the architecture is amazing. I can't yeah. get over it. It, you can feel the the humidity in the air, but today it's not too oppressive. It's actually pretty nice. And behind me is actually a park. And then yeah. the beach is over that way. So we're going to check side. out the beach as well. I can feel the the sea breeze now. So, all right, we're going to show you the beach soon. Miami Beach, not permitted 24 hours a day. I get into the water, see how it feels if it's warm or cold. In the Pacific Coast, it's really cold. 
yeah. go off San Diego or oh god yeah but like this is nice see how the Atlantic Ocean is compared yeah. to the Pacific Ocean oh wow it's it's beautiful beach, beach. Yeah. yeah so do we uh, go up here so we can pick any um Hey. So we get two complimentary chairs. Yes, because it's included in the resort fee. The resort fee. My sister can't come on the beach because she has a dog, a dog. And they don't allow dogs on the beach. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the guy, then he's going to escort us to our mm. chairs. Yes. Look at this. It's beautiful. I want to get sprayed. Mm -hmm. I need my sunblock. Adam is going to the water. Uh, can I have some spray? Oh, that's right. The humidity, you know, affects everything. But it's okay. I'm I don't have any more hair anyway. So. Well I do. So I'm losing it. And there's Adam on the bed. Fantastic. I got my beach fix out of the way. Good. Oh. oh my god. The water is aquamarine, it's clear, and the it's so refreshing. It's not cold, just perfect. Let me tell. Another thing about this wonderful beach in is that there's no rocks or stones. Usually in some other beaches, you have to be careful where you step because you could really hurt your feet. But this is just pure white sand. And you can go in and walk for miles. I mean, it's really clear for quite a ways out there. Ah, oh, definitely want to come back here again. It's a great beach. Miami Beach. And I tried to walk into the water. It was not cold. It was just perfect. You know, the yeah. water temperature is perfect. Temperature of the water is just perfect. But still, I don't like going to the water. I don't know why. Oh, the sand is hot. Nah, I tell you. It's hot, huh? The sun. <laughs> I didn't use this towel, but thank you for letting us use that. Oh, appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Summarizing. He wants me to summarize it. It was just fantastic. I want to come back again. The beach is aquamarine, no rocks, perfect temperature. I mean, it's everything you want in a beach. Yeah. And uh, people were very nice. The guy gave us a free umbrella. I shouldn't say that, but a free no. umbrella. <laughs> and so we'd only stayed for about like maybe about an hour, an hour. but it was enough. I got my oh. beach fix in. Yes. I'd like to stay longer, but we have people waiting for us. So and now we're going to have lunch. Now we're going to have lunch. It's a beautiful day here in Miami Beach. Oh my God. Not too humid either. Yes. Gorgeous. Man, as well. Ooh. Some water. You have to say hi to Yeah, one thing.
thing I like about this. One thing I like about this, I just noticed they're playing big band music, so you feel like you're transported back to the 1940s. I mean, it really does look like a page out of Norman Norman what's his name? Norman Rockwell. It just it's just like going back in time, you know. It's such a head trip. Wow. Penguin Hotel, Crescent Hotel. I mean, these are really iconic places here, part of the Miami Beach um, history, you know, during the heyday. Another thing that I really love here is the Art Deco designs of a lot of the buildings. I mean, take a look at that building up there. It's just classic Art Deco. Mm -hmm. Look at that building. Very Art Deco. It's amazing. And that one over there, too. There, look at that. That's very Art Deco. thing I really love here is that all of these hotels that are facing the uh, ocean have places where you can sit down and eat so they really have a great sidewalk culture here where people dine drink people watch and just take their time it's just fantastic and look at the art deco style look of the buildings this. yeah It's a famous Carlisle, right there. It's beautiful here, wow. The pinkness. Talk with you, say. All right, we can have that. Take a kick to the wheels. Yes, and then the Rainbow Street. Look at this 12th Street. Uh, just take a look at the crosswalks here. It has a rainbow like motif to it. Just yeah, like and then the street sign, too. Very oh. colorful. There, street sign, ocean. Oh, that's yeah, a rainbow. That's great. happen to walk up and walk upon the Johnny Versace home, the famous home in Miami Beach where he lived before he was um, killed. So, wow, it looks just like it did in the movies. Yeah. I didn't realize, I said, this is the Johnny Versace home, wow. That's the home, that's amazing, yeah. Wow. Let's go closer. This is the very steps where he was found. And it's a beautiful home. Oh my God, seriously. For lunch, the 38 bucks. A choice of appetizer, entree choice, uh, and dessert. You can leave out the contest. That's not really bad. So right here, we're right in front of the famous Carlisle Hotel. And this is where they actually filmed the exterior shots of The Birdcage, that famous film um, that was made 
20, 30 years ago with um, Robin Williams with, and Nathan Lane. With Robin Williams and Nathan oh, Lane. Lockhart, so yeah. this is where it took place. And yeah. that's, they had the drag show inside there. Yeah. They did a lot of the exterior shots. Most of it was actually filmed in Los Angeles, but the exterior shots, this is where everything was supposed to have taken place. So we're right here, and that, that's so exciting. And right next to it, they have a place called Les Deux Fontaines, which means the two fountains. And that's where they were supposedly Nathan Lane and Robin Williams had lunch. Yeah. Or was it breakfast or brunch or whatever, one of those meals. So this is really a very famous area yeah. and a great place for shooting films because this is known as the Art Deco District of Miami Beach. And you can see these buildings are absolutely one of a kind, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Not too many places that have Art Deco left. And this is one of the few remaining places, so it's amazing. Yeah. All right. It's no problem for the dog, right? It's just easy. Can we get here? Yeah, thank you. Watermelon. Watermelon for me. Yay! Wow, that looks so light. Oh wow! Thank That's you, Ronnie. My God, that looks. We have to take a picture of that. Yeah. Are you ready to order for Sunday? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right front you burger. Yeah, we're gonna split that and split the fry. Uh, okay. split How do you like the burger? Medium, 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 inside the Carlisle Hotel and look behind me it's a mural that says Birdcage from the movie Birdcage. Isn't it pretty? Wow it's amazing. So Carlisle Hotel Picture. Wow, that pizza looks good. Yeah. And the cut you have. Wow. Ah, that's it. If you give me some fries, I'll give you some pizza. Yes, please. Oh, the fries are good. Please help yourself. So we're here right now at the Carlyle Hotel, and this is called the Bird Cage Cafe. This is where. They filmed the exterior portion of the Birdcage movie. And we decided to eat at this iconic place because it's just fun to be at a place where they filmed one of our favorite films. So we have my bacon cheeseburger here with french fries and then wings with french fries again with the sauce. We're going to split it between the two of us because we have a taste for both of these things. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Vodka, snap, ah. orange juice, and cranberry. The name is Sex on the Beach. Ah, okay. all right. Can you split? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> it's a shot. It's a shot. Thank you. So we're having a shot. We just finished our lovely lunch here at the Bird Cage Cafe at the Carlisle Hotel, and they souvenired us with a shot. So. Cheers! Thank you. Isn't that strong? So, shot. One, two, three. Oh, that's delicious. I can't. Has mango. Okay, right now we're inside the Carlisle Hotel, and they have this beautiful mural of the bird cage. So this is one of the venues of the uh, famous iconic film, The Bird Cage. We're here. It's air conditioning, it's wonderful. And they're selling these wonderful t shirts here that commemorate that wonderful movie. There's Nathan Lane up there, 
and there's Robin Williams over there, the Birdcage Cafe. It really is a fun place to visit, you know. Yes. Uh, Birdcage, of course. Look at this. Hi, thank you. Good. It's so happy in here. <laughs> My God. So we're right here inside the hotel, and guess what they're showing? The famous movie, The Birdcage. Yes. Oh, and that's Agador. <laughs> There's Agador. Uh, wow. Did we let out at exactly. all? Exactly. Anyway, it for was, us, exactly. It was a really nice surprise because we love this movie. Mm. There's not too many movies at that day that talked about things that were important to yeah. us. Yeah. So to have this movie at that time was really a an empowering thing. Yes. And so that's why I agree. they hold this movie in such high regard. They did such beautiful work. Even though, what do you call it, uh, Robin Williams wasn't gay. He played such a beautiful role. Yes. But Nathan Lane. <laughs> we love, we love Nathan too. Lane, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. God, I'm dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go and check this in here for a second? Uh, I'll have the, the happy hour dragon meal. Dragon meal? Yeah. What are you having? The dragon meal. No, that's in the Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have the happy hour um, espresso martini. Espresso martini, that's it. Happy hour. Oh, yes, to our hotel. Yes, right across the street. We are at Paperfish. Paperfish, yeah. Yes, I have a question. What is crispy rice salmon? The crispy rice, the crispy rice, like your uh, fried rice, and on top you have the salmon. It's very good. Crispy rice. You want to try that? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Join our roll and your crispy rice salmon. Yeah. So we got everything? Yeah. Salmon, drag and roll, and gyoza for And the duck. Oh, yeah, the gyoza for Okay, that's what you got. You're okay. I think just three things. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Oh my god. It's good. Mm. So this is an espresso martini. Delicious. It's happy hour prices, so these prices are really good. Compared to California, it's like half the price. It's like seven bucks or something. In California, it's 15 to 18 bucks. So. And this is good. Made with the foam and the espresso beans. Perfect. And we ordered some, you know, bites for a happy hour just to make sure that we don't get drunk on an empty stomach. Of course, from our last meal, we don't have enough salad. Oh, this is so good. Uh, and how's your drinks? I'm having a dry dragon meal. So it's a Moscow meal, but with a dragon fruit probably. I don't know. 
So try it. Tell me, tell me about it. What does it taste so good? But what does it taste like? Try it. Okay. Fruity. It's fruity. It's good. I prefer my espresso martini. I know. Martini. I should have gotten my. Like, yeah. Because this is sweet. That kind of tastes. Yeah, it's good. Well. Oh, this is really good. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, so what we have here are our four appetizers here. So right over here we have, it's a sushi dragon roll, which has the salmon, it has the sauce, has the shrimp tempura inside it, and of course the famous ginger. The pickled ginger is so good, it pairs so well with the dragon roll. And this is a new thing that they have here. It's called crispy rice salmon. So they have four blocks of crispy rice and on top of it, salmon, raw salmon, you know, and it looks amazing. So we're going to try that. And then, of course, over here are shrimp and chicken dumplings. So we're going to try that out. So something very simple, something just, you know, a little snack. So we're going to dig in. So. I think I'm going to try this first. Crispy rice. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Very interesting. Tasty, very crispy underneath. So underneath they have the, the crispy rice, and on top the salmon is very good. I think it needs a little dipping sauce. So we get the. Uh, the soy sauce. And then we take it. Just dip a little bit here. You don't want to overpower it and set with the soy sauce. Ooh. That's what it needed. Mmm. Marconi, you try it. Mm. So I'm going to try it now. Let's try this salmon thing. Mmm. It's a crispy rice here. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. What do you call it? Oh. That's called crispy rice salmon. Let's try it home. Interesting. Mm. Mm. I like the idea. Mm -hmm. mm. Crispy rice is so good. Mm. Right, sushi. Mm. Better find the other one. So now, this is the chicken and shrimp dumplings. Look really nice. And it's in a kind of like a soy sauce broth. So let's taste it. Mm. Mm. It's okay. It has vinegar on the bottom. Try and tell me what you think. Mm. Mm. It's like Shao Bao sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> now we're mm. gonna try the dragon roll. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I like 
like that one. Mm -hmm. mm, I love the crunch. Mm -hmm. I like the sauce. So I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty darn good dragula. Getting another one. And it doesn't even need the soy sauce. Mm. Anyway, it's there. You can My taste turn. the crunch of the champagne shrimp. And it really enhances the flavor. It's really nice. Go ahead. We liked it so much. We ordered another, we have another order of the dragon roll with the tempura shrimp inside with the sauce and the, the salmon on top. And then we ordered this spicy jalapeno hamachi. Hamachi is kind of like a dish. And um, yeah, so we're going to try that out and see how it looks beautiful. And then we have the wasabi and the delicious um, pickle ginger. So we're going to use ourselves. So this one we already have. So let's try the hamachi. Looks beautiful. Look at that. That's also good. Mm. Mm. Tastes of matcha. Very fresh. And then you can taste the jalapeno. It really adds a kick to the, the sushi. Really nice. Very weird. My hair and just humidity is not really cooperating. Mm. Mm. What hair? I like the hamachi. Mm. We had to order one last sushi roll. Um, and this is ebi katsu, which is a shrimp cutlet. It's deep fried, and then it's stuffed into this beautiful thing. So after this, we're through, but we just had to try one more, you know, sushi roll. And so here it is, and I am going to dig in now and tell you what I think. What is this? Mm. They have a pickled lemon on top. I guess you're supposed to eat it all together. That's really good. And that was recommended by our waiter. So it has a crunchy. Shrimp cutlet inside. And then it has a nice sweet soy sauce on top of it with a pickled lemon on top. And the whole thing together is so good. So, Marconi, why don't you uh, have a bite and tell me what you think? <laughs> So, so, we're all done, we just paid the bill, I am full, and I am tired, so, yes, it's, this place is called Paper Fish, Paper Fish, in uh, South Beach, uh, Miami Beach, and it's really good, so I think it's worth the trip, especially their happy hour, because things are half price, so you get a good deal there. And now we're going back to the hotel and take a nap. Yes. That's so nice. Thank you, obrigado. Heading back to the hotel. It's really nice here. We're on Española Way. Apparently, this is another district here. Famous district. Hi, Jimena. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> we went to sushi. 
We did, yeah. The beach, the Art Deco district, it's beautiful. Yeah. That was delicious. That was so fun. I still favorite here. Favorite here. Yeah. And the gamma Do you guys have a Oh, very much. Our first time. Yeah. Swimming at the beach today. He did, yeah. That's fun. Yes. Thank you, gracias.